Hey everyone, welcome to this episode of Cart Crazy. Today we're going to be tearing into a project that I picked up on Facebook Marketplace and I've nicknamed Crash. Come along for the ride, let's get started. Alright, so let's talk about this cart for a minute. A um, little bit uh, out of the ordinary for me. This is uh, a, a little too new and a little too shiny for what I normally do. It's a 2022 uh, club car onward. Um, and I spotted it on Marketplace. Goodness, it's probably been three or four months ago. It's been on for quite a while. It was listed for $12,000. Um, it was a very vague description. Didn't say a lot about it, um, and uh, I thought, well, that's about what they are new. So I didn't message them or anything. I just put it in my saved list and was kind of watching it, and there was basically nothing happened. But all of a sudden, the price went from 12000 to 7000 Well, that piqued my interest quite a bit, so it was real close to my house. I thought, the worst-case scenario, I'll just stop over and look at it and see what we got going on. It said it had some scratches uh, from being... On its side so the the place where it was at wasn't even the owner's house it was a neighbor the gentleman had moved away left the cart behind and left it with his neighbor and the story goes um, they got a little crazy one night and and actually tipped it on its side right here and you can see probably some of the scratches um, there's a few there there's a few very minor in the uh, hip restraint and then the rims got it just a little bit. You might be able to see that. I don't know if it's showing up on camera or not. Both rims. And then the worst of the damage is probably these uprights. Uh, if you look at it straight on, I don't even know if you're going to be able to tell, but it's, it's kind of bent a little bit. Okay. So I thought, well, <laughs> that's pretty minor for what I'm used to. I'm used to, you know, having to tear the thing right down to the frame. So... Uh, I've got uprights, I've got spare roofs, I've got all of that, so we'll talk about that here in just a little bit. I wasn't even sure what was under the seat. I thought for sure it was going to be uh, lead acids, uh, 2022, I figured it would be Trojan lead acid batteries. Uh, pop the seat, and lo and behold, look at that, factory lithium setup. Well, now I'm really excited, okay, because uh, I really like lithium, as you all know, and um, to be a factory set up, that's pretty cool, already ready to go. So, messaged the guy back and forth a little bit, talked him down even a little bit more on the price, uh, but I wanted to show you this, um, and I'm going to cover his name up uh, for privacy purposes, but the sale date was September 22nd of 22. Today is... April 21st of 23, $11,999 plus tax, get my camera to focus here, I don't know if it's going to or not, but uh, $13,138.91 out the door, okay, so you're talking like half price on this cart. So, we could go crazy with this thing, we could lift, we could, you know, all kinds of modifications, custom seats, all of that. As many projects as I've got going right now, I think I'm going to just, I have a mods tower top upstairs for it. Uh, I bought for another project and never used. I really like the mods tower top. So I think I'm going to salvage what I can off of here for future projects. The windshield looks decent. The roof, I might be able to clean up those scratches and use on another cart. And then those back uprights. Sometimes I use those uh, depending on what back seat kit I get. Otherwise, most of them go in the trash, but being that that one's brand new, I'll probably hang on to it. We could get crazy and put some, you know, some 14s or even some 12-inch uh, wheels and tires, which would dress this up a little more. But as many of my neighbors that, that need carts right now and everything I've got going on in the shop, I'd like to get Rusty back in here and work on that. I think we're just going to do the tower top and a back seat kit, maybe a steering wheel, clean it up a little bit, and uh, just move it on down the road. So... Kind of a quick flip, and like I said, a little bit out of character for me, but, um, you know, just uh, I just couldn't pass it up. The price was right. It's a beautiful cart. Um, I'll take you down in here a little closer. 
you know, being that it's brand new, we don't have to worry about bushings, we don't have to worry about bearings. I mean, look at the frame, it is just super shiny. Um, so, LED headlights, just a really, really nice car. Um, but, as much as I'd love to keep this and keep modifying it and do all kinds of custom things, I think, like I said, I think we're just going to do a quick uh, tower top back seat kit, make a neighbor really happy. I might have to put a speed code 4 in it. This thing goes, I mean, bananas up until about 15 miles an hour, and then it's just nothing. So it's kind of boring. Um, I mean, it's got all kinds of low-end power, but <laughs> it's really weird to drive because all of a sudden it just kind of stops and falls flat on its face. But, um, you know, that's a quick trip to the dealer and, and throw a speed code 4 in there. So probably not going to do a ton of filming on this one. Y'all have seen me do the tower top you know, several times. If you, if you need to see more on that, you can jump back to a previous video uh, in the playlist. But uh, that's what we're going to do on this one. I'll give you a few updates as we go, and uh, we'll get it cleaned up and for sale here just shortly. By the way, check out the Cart Crazy t-shirts. More on that coming soon. All right, in about 15 minutes here, pulled all the unnecessary parts off. Uh, of course, I'll save what's good and probably toss those bent brackets out. Um, gonna tear into this tower top, throw that on quick. My wife's out here to help me. Uh, got the back seat kit sitting over here somewhere. And uh, it's gonna be a lot of black on this cart. That's probably one thing I don't care for. Um, I, you know, some different seats and everything would probably make this pop a little bit more. Like I said, different wheels and tires, but We'll go with what we got and see how it ends up. Well, what do y'all think? Got it all cleaned up. Got the back seat on, tower top, windshield. Washed it off a little bit. Even already got it dirty with some footprints. So I know it uh, might be a little out of the ordinary for this channel, but uh, still wanted to bring you all along. Um, you know, when I see a good deal and, and potential, I just can't pass it up. And uh, this is going to make somebody a really, really nice cart. Maintenance-free, uh, literally brand new with some, uh, some custom modifications. So, hope you all enjoyed this episode. Well, that's going to do it, everyone. Thanks for coming along and uh, sticking with me on this one. Uh, like I said, I know it's a little unusual and a little out of character for me, but hey, you know, we made something out of uh, what was kind of a plain Jane, you know, going to the golf course golf cart, and now it's a good neighborhood cruiser for somebody here in my neighborhood. Uh, stick around. We're going to have uh, another episode of Rusty coming up real soon. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button. Share with your friends. Appreciate it very much.